everyone, welcome to my channel. Today's video is about how to play the Erhu without scrunches. Remember, don't be too frustrated. The concepts of playing with good sound are very simple. It just takes a lot of proper practice. Good sound is produced by controlling three things. One, bow speed. Two, bow pressure. Three, bow placement. Regarding one and two, if your sound is bad, then you are either pressing too hard or not moving your bow fast enough. So bow speed and bow pressure are very much related to each other. If I exert a fair amount of pressure on my bow, but I do not increase my bow speed, then I will get a scrunching sound. I want to put medium amount of bow pressure on my bow to pull the bow slowly. Let me give you an example. It's really terrible. Okay, I can put exactly the same pressure but pull my bow a little bit faster. out of a girl's sound but we are going in the right direction. Then I got exactly the same pressure but I pull my bow even a little bit faster. Pretty good sound. It was pure, warm, and didn't have any scrunches. So, if the sound is bad, just try moving your bow faster or pressing with less weight. Bow placement is a bit more difficult and requires you to practice continually with a relaxed bow hand. Let me show you what happens when you do not flat and stretch your bow. That's not good. So just keep your bow flat and straight. Don't forget to maintain the angle between the bow and the long neck. So basically to about maintaining your set speed, maintaining your weight, and maintaining your bow placement where you want to eat. Now, maintaining your bow speed and bow weight is not terribly difficult in relation to how difficult it is for bow placement. So, do open string exercise over and over again. You are going to make sure you have a relaxed hand and train yourself to do that naturally to use your arm.